this morning I was reading an interesting story, an interesting article, a blog on the seven samurai virtues for the modern entrepreneur. And I'm trying to, uh, it's from the Young Entrepreneurs Council from Forbes.com. Arthur Eberling. He belongs to the Young Entrepreneurs Council, and he wrote this uh, this story. Um, he was a top six global finalist in the Global Student Entrepreneur Awards in 2008, and he was named the SBA Young Entrepreneur of the Year in West Virginia in 2011. Okay, Arthur's seven samurai virtues for the modern entrepreneur. He says in his opening paragraph, samurai culture is celebrated in history and revered in popular culture. Although the samurai may appear barbaric to the casual observer, the samurai were in fact intensely diligent in the way they lived their lives. The virtues of the samurai influenced the evolution of Japan as a society and ultimately affected the course of global affairs in the 20th century. Uh, and here's how he uh, talks about the, and compares the samurai virtue for the modern entrepreneur. Number one, Kenan, and I hope I'm pronouncing these right, K-E-N-N-I-N. The first of the seven virtues, Kenan, translates to fortitude and perseverance. This is perhaps, uh, there is perhaps no greater attribute that can be subscribe, uh, ascribed to the entrepreneur. Uh, we talked about fortitude and perse perseverance. Uh, we used our three P's uh, in our description, passion, persistence, and patience. Kind of the same. Okay, number two, Shinnen, Shinnen, S-H-I-N-N-E-N. This virtue refers to conviction and faith in oneself. The samurai were said to possess a resolute self-belief, so much that they believed they could accomplish anything. Faith in oneself. You have to have that spirit, that passion and faith in yourself that you can do what it is that you dream of doing and you create a plan to do it. You have to have faith in yourself uh, that you will do it. And um, one of the samurai virtues. Number three, Sincho. This virtue is defined as care and discretion. The samurai and Japanese society as a whole were very careful how they treated others. They possessed a highly ritualized form of etiquette that was ubiquitous in all personal transactions. The, the, the virtue of caring and discretion so very important as you start your business, particularly that one of caring. You can't come off in starting your business that the reason you're doing it is to try to make a lot of money. You must be very empathetic. You must care. You must show that you truly are genuine in your interest in wanting to bring value into somebody's life. Uh, and, and if you are not that, if you're not genuine, in what you do, it will be picked up very easily. Number four, Segi, S-E-I-G-I. -I. Segi refers to the samurai moral code of righteousness and justice. Despite the violence that plagued the samurai way of life, there are many historical examples of samurai benevolence and integrity. Righteousness, justice, benevolence, integrity. All keywords. Not necessarily small business keywords, but certainly life keywords. Uh, and you've heard me talk about integrity, how important integrity is to any business. 
not just a, a new business startup but any business. It must, the, the business must be one of integrity. The individual, the entrepreneur who is doing that business must be one of integrity. Once again, if you are not, it will come out very simply, very easily. Number five, SESI, S-E-S-S-E-I. -S -S this virtue underscores moderation and temperance. This applies not only to consumption of alcohol and various indulgences, but to something that's of particular relevance to the entrepreneur. The need for balance in work and lifestyle. It is so very important that you're starting to business, uh, starting a business to understand that balance that needs to exist between your business and your lifestyle, your business, particularly if you operate in your home, as so many small business owners do. I talk about this a lot. You've heard me mention a lot. There's a fine line between uh, what happens in your business and what happens in your home, particularly when it's happening under the roof of your home. I have an environment here, uh, our studio, our little room here, that is separate from the rest of the home by doors. There weren't doors here uh, to this uh, room, to the studio, uh, before, uh, I, uh, before we came here. Uh, but if I was going to make this my primary uh, area of operation, then it needed to be separate so that when things are going on in the rest of the house, the doors can be closed. Now, it's not always uh, from a noise level. There might be noise outside coming in. There might be noise in here going out. Uh, so that, that, that can become an issue. But it's the fact that this is the environment of the business. And what happens here is part of the business. Uh, J Jizan, J-I-Z-E-N is number six. J Jizan promotes the importance of benevolence and charity. This is an indispensable part of an entrepreneur's character as well as business operation. Benevolence and charity, giving back, giving back to folks, not just taking from folks. A tremendous idea and concept uh, that needs to be considered as you're starting your business. And number seven is Kibo, K-I-B-O. Kibo essentially means hope. Hope. This hope was founded on the appreciation of life and the celebration of its more basic elements. Humor was and is an important part of Japanese culture as we all, as our as are celebrations throughout the year. Hope. How important is hope to the concept of starting a business and celebration of accomplishments. Celebration that when you set goals and objectives in your business, you realize those goals. That, my friends, is truly a time to celebrate. Thank you, Arthur Eberling, Ebeling, founder and CEO of Skylink Labs, for this wonderful comparison of the seven samurai virtues for the modern entrepreneur.